Here are some tiny Planet Zoo builds that you have to have. Let the chaos begin. What kind of food would you guys trust if it came from a cart? Like besides hot dogs. And I'm not talking about food truck or food stall. I'm talking food cart. What kind of food would you guys trust? And it is relevant because we're starting off with a hot dog shaped hot dog cart. Yeah, today is going to be a lot of small buildings. So we are going to start off with a hot dog shaped hot dog cart. Take a drink every time I say hot dog shaped hot dog cart. Don't. I am not going to pay your medical bills from an overconsumption of alcohol. But we're starting off with a hot dog shaped hot dog cart. Then we're making a balloon cart. Then I start losing it completely and we're building a coffee shop. And we all end up with a toilet cluster. Which if you look at just like the order that we build things in might actually tell a story you start with hot dogs then you get a balloon you're all happy then you get coffee and then you end up in the toilet there's a storyline that somebody can write down there but anyways starting off with the hot dog shaped hot dog cart i, I can explain so when i started building because like right from the get-go i wanted to build small bills just to fill out the area because I just like having those cards just dotted around Naturalis because it makes like places that would otherwise just be like a road or a path have a little bit more life if there's just a card just there. So I immediately thought like, all right, food, what kind of food would be sold from a card? Hot dogs, because yes, I would sometimes, very rarely, maybe not actually. Actually, I almost never watch movies, but if there's a movie set in New York, you bet your ass there's going to be a hot dog cart. I don't know why. It's like, at least for me, so tied to New York of like hot dog carts. But I first wanted to make one of those classic hot dog carts that you would see around New York. And then I went on Pinterest, looked up hot dog carts, and there were a few of those hot dog carts, just like the regular ones strewn around. But the majority was hot dog shaped hot dog carts. And I just, at first I thought, oh, this is not going to work. Because Naturalis is a zoo that takes itself way too seriously. Like if Naturalis was a person, they would constantly be in a suit. Which makes sense that the person who actually likes being in a suit and would wear a suit 24-7 if they could. Is building Naturalis. And hey, when it comes to wearing a suit... A, you look always professional. You can't spe speak proper grammatical sentences, but you do look professional. <laughs> and B, if you're grumpy, you might look like you are a hitman and you're like nobody looks at you then because they don't want to be your target. So, uh, hey, there's some bonuses at wearing a suit constantly. Or at least wanting to, because yeah, 35 degree weather doesn't really allow for suits. So let's move on to the actual hot dog cart again. But yeah, as I said, I didn't think it would work because Naturalis is very serious. But then I realized, Poison, you also made a teapot shaped tea shop. A hot dog cart or a hot dog shaped hot dog cart is not going to be that weird. And also, if you want to go for like a certain team and such, it is actually good to sometimes have something that is completely not that team or goes against it so that the entire team itself stands out more. Because if everything is gray, then nothing is gray because then colors just stops existing and just like you need things to stand out. So so Having something that's really not serious actually works well. The only thing that I am a little bit annoyed about is the shelves on the actual desks of the carts or the shops that you can have. Because A, I want the pieces that are on the shelves. Like I want, like the hot dogs. I want for this balloon cart, I would want to have those balloon packages just as pieces to buy themselves. I also want a light switch where we'll get to that when we get to the coffee shop. But also, because those shelves are there, you have to kind of build around them. Or you have to just let them be. And most of the time, 
I want to build around them because they don't really follow like the idea or the vision that I have for it. And yes, it does sound weird to me to say, oh, I have a vision. Mostly my vision is held up together by duct tape and maybe a piece of gum. Like my vision changes constantly. Like the red panda habitat that I've built, where the actual like teapot shaped tea shop is, I you might have seen I've deleted a lot of it. And I knew that that was going to happen. Like if I leave a habitat for some time, most of the time I will get like different ideas and such, and then will just completely destroy the original thing. So the teapot shaped tea shop is going to stay, say that. 20 times fast teapot shaped tea shop <laughs> but that's going to stay even the bonsais that are in like the tea cups are going to stay i'm just going to have to find a different way of doing it but yeah i it just it's not the red pen app that is not really going to stay so me saying oh i well actually the red pen app that is going to stay it's just how it's going to look is going to change but yeah i don't really have a vision when it comes to naturalis i'm mostly just like Ooh, I like building this. Ooh, I have seen this while I was on the toilet just losing any sense of reality scrolling to Pinterest. Because let's face it, I can't even pretend to be classy. Like, I am a chaotic mess. I am a train wreck of a person. So, I am not even going to pretend to be like, Oh yeah, I had this vision for natural arts. I know exactly what I'm doing. Uh, no. This, you're listening to the person who legit right now is seeing a pen and it's just like, oh, I could play with that. Yeah, if you give me a piece of string, I will be occupied for hours. I don't need a lot to be able to entertain myself. Like, I will, like, twist the string around my fingers, will put it in knots and everything. I will just keep my hands busy and be very happy while doing that. It's completely useless, but it's fun to me. Anyways, let's talk about the balloon cart. Now, the cart itself is kind of meh. Like, it's not as, you know, good as the hot dog shaped hot dog cart, but it's just a regular cart. What was fun was making the balloons. Now, I've made a crocodile balloon, Amur leopard, because I think Amur leopards would kind of be like, not the signature animal of Naturalis, but they would probably be like the most important when it comes to like a breeding program. Like Naturalis would probably be involved in like a breeding program for Amur Leopards. But of course, the signature animal is the red panda. Yeah, I also made a giant panda balloon, but giant pandas are mid, they are basic. But of course, most people like giant pandas and know them better than red pandas. So of course, it's going to have to be a giant panda balloon. But I'm not going to show you guys that because I already needed to cut down a lot for this video to not be 45 minutes. So I'm just going to stick to a red panda balloon. Now, here's the thing. Originally, I wanted the red panda balloon or just all of the balloons to kind of be the shape of the animal. And then I realized, Poison, these balloons are mostly meant for children. They're supposed to be kind of cute, funny and such. So it is fine if you just turn them into blobs. Because that's the best shape for cuteness. Blob shaped. And then you make it floofy, you make it a little bit dumb looking. You know, give them the big eyes. And then you have the cutest thing possible. Anyways, now moving on to the coffee shop, which is where... Oh god, I started to lose it. Not that I didn't lose it with the hot dog shaped hot dog cart, but here is where the detail level just went crazy. Which I can sometimes do. Like, a lot of times I'm just like, yeah, light switches, mm, kitchen roll dispenser, nah. But here it was just like, yeah, let's do all of that. And... I am just going to say, like, there's a lot of, like, probably, like, areas for scenery packs to go to next. However, my, well, recently my biggest request is just light switches. Because I want that amount of ridiculous detail. 
However, this could probably easily be done by um, just giving us all of the pieces that are like in the staff building. Because there's a lot of like small little things, like just a vacuum and such. And just give us those pieces and then I will be very happy. Like 99% of people playing Plan 2 are probably not interested in that at all. And I'm just here like, yeah, give me a light switch. Maybe also give me a pen. I am looking at that pen that's on my desk right now. Do we... Does everyone, like... I think everybody at least once has done that, where you, like... You know, you click a pen, and you click it on your desk, and then let it go so that it flies up. Has everybody done that at least once? Because that just feels like such a staple memory. Like, such a... Just a thing that every kid does at least once, where you just let a pen fly. Yes, I can just legit look at something and just start talking about it. But just like, you just let a ply or let a pen fly, not let a ply fan, but let a pen fly. I also always like to take them apart for some reason, like especially the ones that you could screw loose and then put back together. Like that's... Uh, in some movies or some stories, that would be a serial killer because then, like, eventually you just move on to. No, let's just let's keep this video light. Actually, <laughs> anyways, here is another thing that I sometimes do. Sometimes I just start building and I go, "Ooh, I could use this piece, a piece that I've never used before." But I suddenly just think of it in a completely different way, and then it's just like, "Yeah." This works perfectly. So for the counters, because again, with this coffee shop, we're going for that amount of detail. But for the counters, I realized, oh, we have this piece that that's supposed to be like a column or something, but it works really well for the counter. Like it sticks out just a little bit. It has that shape that a counter would usually have. And it's just, it's recolorable. That's the biggest thing of all, because it's just like, oh yeah, it's recolorable. Now I can use it for everything. Yeah, those door or window hinges are really good working clutch for everything now. Because I can use them for, well, the other variant of the hinges I can use for knobs on like, well, drawers and such and cabinets. But the other hinges I can use for screws. I can use it for like just the small little stick thingies that, that you have like for like electrical wire and such. Works really well. It's just the tiny things. But that's again, like that's something where I just looked at it. And then later on, I looked at it again and it just had a completely different meaning to me. I was just like, oh, I can use this for this, this and this. I also built a fridge because why not? Like this shop was built with the idea that it not only sells you like coffee, hot chocolate, maybe tea. But also that might have like some prepackaged sandwiches. Well, not prepackaged. I would think that they would cut them here. But most of like the ingredients would not be like made completely here. Like all of the lettuce and such it already comes shredded and such. But anyways, it was really fun to make this. And now I want to quickly get back on like the hot dog shaped hot dog cart. Like here's the thing. When it comes to food cards, I trust very little, or at least I have very low expectations for a lot. Like hot dogs, fine if they come from a hot dog or from a cart. However, when I think of cards, and please correct me if I'm wrong, but I always just think like, oh, there's not a place there really to make things fresh there. Most of the time, I would assume like, oh, you would have things that you would like be able to keep warm or heat up when it comes to a cart. Like the other thing is like, oh, food trucks, food stalls. I would trust a lot more food coming from there or trust is not the right word, but my brain just defaults to trust. But when it comes to trucks or food trucks and food stalls, you have more space to actually prepare the food there. With carts, you have less space. And it's fine if you're like, like hot dogs, you can keep warm pretty much the entire day and they won't really taste that much different because you can just like keep them warm in some warm water or some like 
other device. Like, I know this is, like, other place where I used to go to for, like, hot dogs. They were just cheap, like, one euro hot dogs. But they, they had it, like, kept warm in one of those sort of, um... What is it called? I'm just thinking of the London Eye now. But it basically had, like, this rotating, what is it called? Ferris wheel. But then for hot dogs. It was in this, like, sort of glass container that had, like, some heat coming from down. It's, I don't know how to really explain it. But, like, it, hot dogs don't really change in taste much. Like, it, unless... It, Otherwise, like, with other foods, let's say, a uh, chicken cart. Like, after a while of keeping the chicken warm, it just starts turning to rubber. So, that's why I don't really, like, I don't have high expectations when it comes to food carts. I am pleasantly surprised if it is great, and then I will take everything back, but I will go in going to, like, food carts with low expectations. But then there's also of like, you know, pretzels and such that could also be good coming from food carts. So it's really, it's just like food that after being just kept warm for an hour can still be good or for like multiple hours. And that's another thing of like what I would want for Planet Zoo. It's not really like I am a builder, so I'm not really animal minded. That's why I really liked that animal wish list because I do know animals. I'm just like, if you ask me, I just blank. I have no idea. I was just like, I don't know any animals. And then it's like, oh, somebody pointed out a muskox said, oh yeah, that would be a great animal. The only animal that I really remember is puffins, because of course. Lately, I've also seen what I'm going to call the Muppet Bird or the Hand Puppet Bird. Uh, Putu Bird is the actual name, but I just like, I really like it. Because it legit looks like a hand puppet. It looks like a puppet. And of course, I want the weird animals. But anyways, I am not really, like, animal-minded. My mind usually just goes into, like, oh, what can I build? So when it comes to, oh, what would I want for Plant Zoo? And I said this, I think, since the beginning. It's just, I want more shops. I want, like, a sandwich shop. Maybe, like, a snack vending machine like with chips and cookies and candy like the, those kind of things i would like regional shops so that like if you have an asian area you could actually serve like asian food or at least asian fast food so it's not authentic asian food but you know it's like the fast food variant and going like for like oh africa south america that you have like regional food shops that would be great. And talking about food shop and what we're building right now, because this is where all food inevitably ends up. And so just to close up the food shop talk, I would want more like variants of food shops. Kind of like how they had them in Plant Coaster with the Waltz Fair Pack, where you could have like a sandwich shop, then there was uh, noodles and there was sushi. Although I don't think I would want a sushi shop because... Uh, Maybe. Like, maybe make it an item in, like, a restaurant. Like, sushi for me just seems more like a sit-down food and not a food that's on the go. Anyways, moving on to where all food inevitably ends up. The toilet cluster. I can't say toilet building because it's not only a toilet, but I also wanted, like, a changing room. Not for you, but a baby changing room. Which I'm just, I'm going to skip uh, way ahead here, but when I was looking up like, oh, I want signs for these for the bathroom, I want a sign for like the changing room or changing station, I don't know how you really call it because uh, kids are the furthest away from my mind that you can uh, estimate. Words just leave me. But anyways... I was looking up like, oh, what would be the correct sign for like a changing room for babies? And of course you get the sign. So I was like, oh yeah, great. And then I saw another sign, which was clearly a joke. And I was just like, this is amazing. But like baby changing room. And it was just a sign of throwing out one baby to replace it with the other. <laughs> so like a legit baby changing room. It's just like, yeah, this model is defective. It cries too much. 
yeet, and just having another baby. <laughs> like, it looked completely the same as, like, the regular baby-changing sign. It just had one baby tossed to the back. <laughs> and I just, like, it's living in my brain now, rent-free. Just that sign. Anyways, so, making the signs, but the big thing when it came to the toilet building, so now we're starting on the toilet sign, I won't show the baby changing sign because it follows the same idea. But when it comes to the toilet, this is actually the only build that you will see today that first was completely different. Like I had a completely different design in mind than what you've seen so far. And it just didn't work because here's the thing that's not really like any important in plan to function wise. But I always like to think of like, all right, is this a useful building? Because I love building round buildings. However, the usable space for a round building is quite small. I mean, there's a lot of space, but when it comes to like, let's say the coffee shop, like that's the best example. All of the walls inside when it comes to like the counters and the fridge and such, I all just flattened out so that you still had actually a rectangular kind of room on the inside because fridges you want like counters you can get custom so that they follow the shape of the building but like a fridge a sink and such you're not going to get those custom needs or at least a sink can be like fitted into the counter so that could work but like a fridge like how how are you going to like there's probably nowhere you, that you can find a fridge with like a rounded back so if you have a fridge and you like try to push it to the wall there's going to be a lot of space behind the fridge where like dust and other kinds of filth can just gather up and you can't really get to it and with other things it's just like uh, when it comes to circular buildings especially it feels just like all of like furniture and such is going to get just pulled to the center like if you have like a circular, let's say living room, like you're going to usually place like your couches and such in the middle. You might have like a round like carpet in the middle. Your TV is going to like follow that carpet. So everything kind of gets pulled into the middle. And when it comes to the toilet building, because I did have a point to this talk, it had just such an odd shape that it's not even like, oh, it was round. It wasn't. It was very just like pointy is the best way. Like it had a lot of weird angles. But a lot of the actual space was useless because it would be like too sharp of an angle. So you wouldn't have enough space to have a toilet or it would be in like a very strange setup. So that's why the original toilet building got axed. And now we have just a rectangular toilet building because it makes a lot more sense for your like toilet building or just like for most buildings actually to be rectangular because that's just a very useful shape where it comes to useful space now you don't really have to think about this in plan two because you just place a block and then you get built around it you don't really have to worry about useful space but i like to think about it because it's just draws a little bit more of a realism aspect into it. Even though Naturalis is not supposed to be fully realistic, I do like to keep in mind of like, oh, how would people in this building get around? Anyway, now we're actually going to what I skipped ahead to for when it came to the baby changing sign, because I wanted to make a separate changing room for baby. So if your baby has like a, or baby toddler, I don't know, maybe your grandpa had like blow out that shit <laughs> oh, why did i immediately go for grandpa uh, let's mo move on but if you need to change your baby you just have a room completely to yourself now the big thing when it came to the changing room i didn't want it to feel very what is the word for it like i didn't want it to have like a hospital feel I didn't want it to really feel soulless, which is something that you might see in zoos, also in theme parks, hospitals, where the 
bathrooms and such, everything where hygiene is a thing, you will get a very sort of sterile vibe. That's the vibe that I was looking for. That's not like, it's not really cold or anything. Well, it could be cold depending on the colors, but it's like, it's built so that it's easily kept clean. And when it came to the changing room for the baby, because I need to keep saying baby for some reason, but when it came to that, I immediately just thought like, no, I don't want that vibe. I do want it so that like everything is bolted down because when it comes to like the paper towel dispenser and such, everything is just bolted down. There's also like, a, I think you use like sort of powder thing for when you change the baby, but I don't know because yeah babies and children are just like the farthest away from my mind and such but everything is bolted down because otherwise things will get stolen you might say poison why would they steal like paper towels or why would they steal baby powder or anything and it's like you would be surprised by what people would steal and now you might say people won't steal that and to those people I will say, or I will ask, look at the screen. Look at me. I know you can't see me, but look at me. Touch the screen with your eyeballs. And be honest, when you went to Ikea and you had those three pencils, how many did you take? Because if you took more than one, you're a thief. But... Yeah, that's like a regular person. Like, you might take more pencils from, like, Ikea and that's... Like, that's a regular person. And then you have, like, the entitled people who will be like, Oh, yeah, that's mine. It's free. It's mine now. So everything is bolted down. That's also why, like, none of the benches in Naturalis will have cushions. Because people would take them. Like, they would just stuff them into a bag. Because, hey, it's a free cushion. But, um... It's not me like saying like, oh, I have no faith in humanity. I mean, that's been gone a long time ago, but so that's kind of true. But it's just also kind of realistic of like, yeah, things are going to get bolted out just so that people don't take it or leave it in pl other places than where they should be. And especially in like a cha baby changing room like this. If somebody just like places like the baby powder in some place where it's not easily visible, you will have some people complaining of like, hey, where is it? And then uh, the staff have to, to look for where, like, the last person kept it or left it. But anyways, back to the actual vision, which sounds very weird for me to say vision. But the idea for the changing room, as I said, I didn't want it to be sterile. Everything is still bolted down, but I wanted to go for the bees look. I don't know why, but when I think of, like, oh, I want a gender neutral changing room, like something that's, like, not like bright blue or pink or anything. I just immediately think of bees. Because to me, yellow is just like, it's a happy color. I also use some pieces that I have no idea what pack they're from anymore. I think it's uh, it's some pack. I think it's one of them is the skunks and the other one is uh, capybara, I think. Not capybara, what's the other one? Wombat. I use that as like an idea for like, a, you know, those baby mobiles that just spin above their crib. But yeah, I wanted to just go for bees because bees are fun and bees are kind of adorable, especially like I'm not talking about hornets or wasps or anything like those things. I mean, they are useful in nature, but bees are the cute ones because they are usually... Either they're fat, <laughs> like compared to wasps and such, bees are fat. At least in my mind, I just keep thinking of them as fat. But they might also be very fluffy, like hair fuzzy and such. So bees are the cute ones to me. And so of course, when it comes to like a baby changing group, we are going for the bees. Because the bees are the best. They also make it so that we eat, because a lot of like pollination and such happens with bees and such. I just like saying bees as well. I think you, all of you guys should just say bees a lot more. Because it's just, it's a nice word. And sometimes you just need to take pleasure in the small things. Such as bees. And a hot dog shaped hot dog cart. Like hot dogs aren't like, to me at least, they're not like, oh yeah, they're the best kind of food. But they're like pleasure foods. They're like, like they're kind of like 
what I would say for like a, a little bit above like McDonald's. Like it's not trash food like that you sometimes like sometimes you just crave trash because we all have like a raccoon hiding hiding in us. But hot dogs are just like you know they're comfy. They they're not trying to be pretentious and such. They're just happy and comfy. Yeah, why the fuck did I stick them in natural? It's the most pretentious zoo ever. Because even a pretentious zoo, like even naturalis will be able to say, yeah, hot dogs are good. Anyways, that's probably going to be it for today's video. So if you like this video, throw a hot dog at the like button. And if you want to see more, throw a baby at the subscribe button. Or a poopy diaper. And like, please don't start throwing babies. I will not cover your legal fees or medical fees. Uh, never listen to me. Just use me as background noise. If I ever say something that sounds slightly knowledgeable, just know that's completely wrong. Anyways, have a wonderful day, guys. Bye-bye.